that's just one of the many perks of living out in Jupiter Farms. We actually have had bobcats in the yard and we have a lot of like a lot of hawks, um, just a lot of egrets, ibises, sandhill cranes out here, a lot of big bird population, uh, lots of turtles. But this was a little alarming. That's not normal. <laughs> that's definitely not normal. And this is the second one. Amy Carden found the first half-faced amphibian about a month ago. We found a toad sitting in one of the rocks, looked kind of just like a rock, and uh, had half a face. <laughs> Same thing, half of a face, like most of its mouth was gone. And then it happened again on Saturday when she found this guy swimming around her guest toilet bowl. <laughs> it does not have half of its face again. And we were like, that's two here which is just, we've never seen anything like it. She posted a picture on Facebook, which got several people guessing what they thought was wrong with the frog. We called Kenan Harkin, a reptile expert who runs an educational YouTube channel called Camp Kenan. He says since Cardin says she saw a frog and a toad with the same defect, Harkin thinks it could be a mutation. Scientists like to look at amphibians as an indicator species for an environment. Because they have such sensitive skin, they're usually animals that will mutate first. He says this could be caused by pesticides or chemicals in the water. What I would suggest is maybe this is something that the state wants to look into and start doing some testing on the water. In Jupiter Farms, I'm Gianna Caserta, WPBF 25 News.